Why? This is a very hard question. Yes, because 98% of the people that this question was thrown to failed it. Now, if you think it's easy, you can pause the video, then give it a try. And let me see what you get when you now watch the video to the end. Okay, I would like you to tell me if you actually got the question right. As in, if you actually got the solution right, okay, before watching the video. Now, welcome to my channel and let's get straight to the point. Before we solve this, I need to introduce a law of indices to you or a law of exponent that is going to make the understanding of this question very easy, okay? Now, I want you to give me your listening ear. The law of indices states that a to the power of m raised to the power of a to the power of m divided by n, okay, is the same thing as the nth root of what? A raised to the power of what? M, right? Now, let's do some practical, simple examples with this, okay, before we go over to the complex one on the board. Now, for example, if you have eight to the power of, um, okay, if you have square root of eight or cube root of eight, this know that this is same thing as eight to the power of one okay so we can rewrite this as eight raised to the power of this one is our numerator remember and this three is what our denominator of our fraction all right the same thing if you have square root of four okay this four is same thing as four to the power of one and this square root means what you are going to multiply twice to get four so that means there is an invisible two here, but we don't put that in mathematics. That means we can write this as four. This one is what? Our numerator, okay? Why this two is our denominator? That means that square root of four can be written as four to the power of one over two. Hope you understand. Now, let's get to what we have on the board. But like I said, you can pause the video and see if you can get it yourself. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And I upload videos twice every day, okay? So please check in to see what's new. Now, back to what we have. This is the question. 9 to the power of 9 to the power of 9. This time around, we have two powers on a number. So, this is the same thing as 9. Now, 9 to the power of 9 becomes a numerator. Recall what we did, right? Let me write it so way. That cube root of 8, no, this is the same thing as 8 to the power of 1, is equal to 8. This one is our numerator. This 3 becomes the denominator of the fraction that we are going to form. Now, while looking at this, let's relate it to this. So this is nine. Now that means that nine to the power of nine becomes the numerator of our fraction, right? So we are going to have raised to the power of nine to the power of nine, all right? Divided by, because this is square root, that means there is an invisible two here. So this sentence as nine to the power of nine divided by two, all right? Now, what is 9 to the power of 9? 9 to the power of 9 simply means 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. So you get to the ninth number. Okay? The ninth nine. <laughs> so let's express it like that. So that means that we can rewrite this as 9 raised to the power of... Let me demarcate this. 9 raised to the power of what? 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 till the last 9. We're supposed to have 9 of them here. Divided by 2. Okay? Now, when 2 divides itself, you have 1. When 2 divides 9, what are you going to have? 4.5, right? Permit me to claim this. I think we have used them. So when 2 divides this 9, you have 4.5. Okay, now recall that what we have from here to here should be nine, eight nines. Okay, eight nines, that is nine to the power of eight, right? 
So we have 9 to the power of 8. So that simply means that square root of 9 to the power of 9 to the power of 9. Okay? That we can write it to be equal to this 9 here. Okay? Raised to the power of 4.5 multiplied by 9 to the power of 8. I told you that most of you will not get it. <laughs> yes. Because it, the question is somehow. This question is somehow. So that simply means that the correct option is D. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know what you feel about the video in the comment section. And tune in to watch another time.